Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome to yet again another package video. Uh, another trade, of course, with Stars Gaming. And this has to go down as probably a mega package video, because it's actually two packages with four games in it. I sent him four games, he sent me four games. And uh, as always, guys, a link to his channel will be in the description below. Highly recommend checking out his channel. Uh, recently hit over 1,000 subs, which is absolutely fantastic for him. Uh, he really deserves it, in my opinion. You know, the amount of times he's actually been on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, so I highly recommend checking out his channel if you haven't already. So, yeah, let's get down to it, guys. Uh, so there's two packages. I haven't bothered blue tacking things, so... I couldn't really be bothered, to be honest. So, here's package number one. So, uh, yeah, let's get this open. Obviously, I, I know what I'm getting. There's no uh, surprises this time, as far as I know. So, um, I'm looking... Oh, God. I've been looking forward to getting these games. Well, some of them. One might be okay, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It takes me half an hour to open for them in packages. You can never tell by that what console it's for. If you can't... Oops, there's your answer. Oh, there we go. So the first game is... What is it? Uh, it's Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. Now, I've only played one Midnight Club game, and that was Midnight Club 2. I didn't actually play it for too long, though. No. Uh, I just really wanted to get it, just to, you know, to actually have a Midnight Club game. Because uh, I did hear they're actually quite good, so I played it for maybe half an hour. And, you know, it did seem like a really, really enjoyable racing game. Uh, so, yeah, I do want to get the Midnight Club games. And uh, now I've got Midnight Club 3, the Dub, edi the dub Edition Deluxe. Uh, a remix actually, not Jux. Uh, I don't know if it was a normal Midnight Club 3 or whether all Midnight Club 3s are the dub edition. So, um, this quite some quite funny dub. Uh, so, oh, and we've got the note in this one. I don't know whether that's just luck or whether every woman case has got a note in it. I wouldn't think so, though. Oh, God, look at that. That's a sturdy manual. Look at that. Look at that manual. That's a manual. And it's in colour as well. Yeah, pretty cool looking manual actually. Oh, that's, that's such a beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful manual. I love that manual. So we've got that. And of course we've got the disc. I think I've already showed that. But uh, yep, disc in really, really good condition. Well, oh, really happy with that one. Uh, I'm actually surprised I didn't want to keep a hold of this because I think he does like racing games. So, um, I don't know if I should read this now or at the end. I don't know. I'll read it now. I'll read it now. Uh, hi, mate. Cheers for doing this super trade. <laughs> and I hope these parcels get to you safely. I hope, you'll be, I hope you enjoy these games more than I would have. Keep up the good work on the channel, mate. Stars. And he's drawing a face. <laughs> so, yeah, that's bloody, that's bloody awesome. Oh, I always do love getting these, um, you know, the, the notes and that's bloody awesome. So, yep, yeah, Midnight Club 3. Double edition. And the next game is... Was it, was it Red Ninja? Yeah, Red Ninja, End of Honor. Uh, which I don't actually know too much about. Uh, but it's Sierra. I don't remember what it was, but I had a few Sierra games back in the day, but I really disliked them. I think the only Sierra the game I really liked on the PS2 was uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. I think that's basically just the, the, pub, the publishers, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I never really liked any Sierra games apart from Simpsons Hit and Run. But this looks quite good. I've seen gameplay of it. It looks real good. It's like a stealthy kind of game. Kind of like Tenchai or Tenchu or whatever the hell you say it. It's kind of like that. Like stealthy ninja kind of game. So Red Ninja, End of Honor. He comes complete with a manual. And uh, again, really, really good condition manual. And the disc. Again, really, really good condition. Really happy with that one. So there we go, guys. Red Ninja, end of honor. Now it's time to open the second package video. Second, did I just say open the second package video? 
open the second package, here we go. For the butches galore. <laughs> right. And once again, PS2 games. First one is Buster uh, Buster Block. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I was gonna say Buster Block, but yeah, Buster Block. It's, it's a Midas game, which got me kind of worried because well, Midas are not really known for their great games. They're kind of like budget titles, you know, like Stock Car Racer and things like that. Chris Kamar, Street Soccer, Vegas Casino. Pinball Power, Gubble, uh, Riding Star, I think. Might even Riding Star. But anyway, you get my drift. They make some pretty damn crap games. Uh, budget title games. But yeah, Buster, uh, Bust a Block. It's a. Uh, comes completely with manual. It's kind of like Brickout. You can see that there. It's, it's kind of like Brickout. In fact, I didn't actually show you the back of Red Ninja. Some sexy female ninja. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there's a uh, Buster Block. Like I say, I like Brickout. So that's kind of what got me kind of, you know, interested about. I didn't really know much about the game. So, um, like I say, it comes completely with manual. Uh, disc is in really good condition. It's like as if someone just bum and bought the game, played it, and then just sold it on straight away. Uh, like as if they didn't like it. So, um, yeah, Buster Block. I'm sure it'll be fun, you know. How can they get a Brickout game wrong, you know? Right, well, I'm back now, guys. Sorry about that. A little interruption here. You know, it doesn't matter how many times I tell people that I'm bumming recording. They always interrupt me. My dad always interrupts me about stupid little things. I mean, I understand if it was important or something. Uh, but no, stupid little things. Like, subbing his hair on the woman telly. I mean, could it not wait? Could it not wait? Anyway. Where were we? Uh, Buster Block, yes. Right. Yeah, I was saying Buster Block, yeah, I mean, I don't really know how they could get a game like this uh, wrong, like, you know, brick out, you know, it's a pretty simple kind of game, so I'm not really sure how they could get it wrong, so I think it could be quite decent, you know, could be quite decent. And the last game is... Burnout Revenge. Yeah, I've got kind of a, a mixed opinion on Burnout games, some of them's okay, some of them's, yeah. Uh, for the PS2, Burnout 3 I thought was really, really good. Burnout Dominator I thought was quite boring. It was okay at the beginning, but quite boring. Burnout Paradise. A lot of people like Burnout Paradise, but for me, I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I mean, it was okay, don't get me wrong. Probably better than Burnout Dominator, but I wasn't really a big fan of Burnout Paradise. You know? But anyway, guys, Burnout Revenge. It looks good from the back of the cover, uh, but so did uh, Burnout Dominator as well. But as you can see, some pretty cool uh, screenshots there. See, comes complete with a manual. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, like, but uh. anyway, yeah, Burnout Revenge. Disc, again, really good condition. All these discs have been in fantastic condition. Uh, really, really happy with that. And, uh, yep, really good condition manual as well. So, yeah, Burnout Revenge, guys, looking forward to playing that. Kick ass cover. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be good, guys, I really do. You know, I don't dislike the Burnout games. Like I say, I have a mixed opinion on them, but I don't dislike them. I'm just not, like, a big fan of them like I am with Need for Speed or games like that. But, um, yeah, looking forward to giving this one a shot. Right, so that's it, guys. That is it. That is the, the Mega Trade video, or Mega Package video, or Super Trade, or whatever it is. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet. Uh, but as for the game I'm looking forward to playing the most, is uh, probably Midnight Club 3, actually. I hear a lot of good things about Midnight Club, and like I said, I did like the second one from what I played of it. The one that I'm least, least looking forward to is probably Buster, uh, Buster Block, probably. But it's one of those kind of pick-up-and-play games, you know, you don't have to play it for a while, you don't have to get the hang of controls and that, you can just pick up and play it. It's like Tetris and Space Invaders, you know, simple games like that. It's got 150 stages, so that's quite a lot of body content for a budget title. And uh, I'm also looking forward to playing Red Ninja. Really, really curious to see what this is like. I do like stealth games, you know, like Metal Gear Solid, I like uh, Tenchi, or like I say Tenchu, whatever you call it. I like stealth games, they're quite cool. But anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this mega trade. A mega package video, whatever it's going to be called. I'll say guys, I'll leave a link to Star Wars Gaming 10... No, it's not 1009 anymore. 
Uh, I'll leave a link to Stars Gaming's uh, package video as well to see what I sent him. Because uh, I did send him some, some uh, quite cool games as well. Uh, so I guys, hope you enjoyed this anyway, and I will catch you all in the next video. And well, thanks, thanks again, Mark, for the the games. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.